morning grade 8 first two problems from 9.1 we have solved earlier let's go to the third problem now see third problem says if selling price is rupees 900 so selling price is 900 and discount is 20 percent then find the marked price do not learn any formula just stick to the concept discount is 20 percent so if marked price is 100 rupees for 100 rupees reduced they have reduced price by 20 rupees that is 20 percent percent means for 100 so for 100 rupees they are reducing the price by 20 rupees so after reducing then selling price will become 80 rupees yes or no this is marked price they are reducing 20 rupees from this and then selling so 100 rupees thing they are selling for 80 rupees that is to say that they have 20 percent discount now we have selling price how much 900 900 is our selling price what is your marked price are you understanding me okay so if you don't do directly what you will do marked price and selling price if marked price is 100 rupees selling price is 80 rupees now they have given selling price as 900 so what would be the marked price now cross multiply therefore 100 into 900 is equal to x into 80 so what will be x x will be 100 into 900 upon 80 0 0 cancel all right you have 2 fours are and 2 45s are 4 ones are 425s are. So your answer will be 25 into 45. So which is equal to 25 are 125 and 25 4 is 100. 100 plus 12 is 100 and 112. So it becomes 1125. Is this clear everybody? So this is your market price. Okay. So, tag was of 1125 and they have sold it for 900 rupees because 20% was discount. Have you understood? Okay. So, now let's go to the fourth problem. Now, see the fourth problem. The marked price of the fan is 3000 rupees. Shopker, shopkeeper gave 12% discount on it. Find first total discount and selling price. So, both we have to find. Now see, discount is 12%. That means if market price is 100 rupees, discount is how much? 12 rupees. We have to first find the discount also. Now market price is how much? 3000. So discount is x rupees. Have you understood? Cross multiply x into 100 is equal to 12 into 3000. Alright? So what is x? x will be 12 into 3000 upon 100. Two zeros, two zeros. 12 threes are 36 and one more zero. 360 rupees. So rupees 360 is your total discount. So discount is equal to rupees 360. Are you understanding me? Okay. So how much is discount? You got 360 rupees is the discount for 3000 rupees. Now directly we can find out. You have to find the selling price. What is selling price? Selling price is market price minus discount. What is your market price? 3000. And what discount you got of rupees? 360. Subtract this. How much you will get? So here it is 360. If I subtract 0, 4, 2, 6. Alright. So you are going to get discount of rupees 360 and selling price 2640. Okay, carry out this in Rafa. So, your selling price is this. So, this is your second answer and this is your first answer. Have you understood, everybody? Initially, why we were not doing how much is this discount? Because we need to subtract and then find the selling price. This is also one method. Or you can directly find. If market price is 12, then your selling price will be how much? 100 minus 12 is? 88 isn't it so now if market price is 3000 what will be the selling price that we also you can do but because we have found out discount i have just subtracted and found out 
both way answers will be same. You compare these two and find out the selling price. Then here also will get the same answer. Alright. So choice is yours. There are many methods how you can approach. Now let's go for sixth question. Now see the sixth question. Shopkeeper gives 11% discount on a television set. Hence the cost price of it is rupees 22,250. Find the marked price of the television set. Now see here, marked price or market price, both ways we can say. Marked means which is tracked over here. Now one thing you should remember students, cost price for customer is as good as selling price of shopkeeper. Shopkeeper is going to sell it and customer is going to buy it. So selling price and cost price in terms of, this is used in terms of customer. So this is same as selling price of the shopkeeper. You keep this in mind. Okay. So, cost price of customer is equal to selling price of the shopkeeper. Now, 11% discount. So, in our terms, this is equal to selling price of shopkeeper. Selling price of shopkeeper. Now, discount is of 11%. Alright, what do you mean by 11%? If marked price is 100 rupees, then discount will be of 11 rupees. If discount is of 11 rupees, what will be the selling price students? 100 minus 11. Okay, how much is 100 minus 11? 100 minus 10 is 90. 90 minus 1 is 89 rupees. So if marked price is 100 rupees, selling price is 89 rupees. Now selling price they have given, how much is the, so now I am rubbing this. You understood what we have done. Alright. So if marked price is 100 rupees, selling price is 89 rupees. We have to find mark price when the selling price or cost price of customer or selling price of shopkeeper is 22,250. 22, Are you understanding what I am doing students? So let us cross multiply. We have 100 into 22250 is equal to x into 89. So what is x? x will be equal to 50 into 100 upon 89. Alright. Okay. Now you will have to divide this and check. Okay. So I have written it here 89 stable. Let us do it. 89, 1 and 2 is equal to 2 is we have 178. Right. Let us subtract this. 12 minus 4 is Sorry, 12 minus 8 is 4. 11 minus 9, 7 is 4. Because this will become 1. Then I am taking 5 down. 445. Here it is. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 sir. 5 sir, 4, 4, 5. 0 is the remainder. This 0 comes over here. We can take it above. Alright. So, this divided by 89 is 2, 5, 0 into this 100. So, what is your... Market price or marked price. Marked price is 25000 zero, 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 rupees. Have you got the answer? Okay. So this is your marked price. Now let's do one more problem. Problem 8. Okay, now see eighth problem students is similar to the fourth solved problem from page 54. So if you look at 54 page and fourth problem, first you go through it, then you will understand this problem. See a shopkeeper decides to sell a certain item at a certain price. He tags the price on the item by increasing the decided price by 25%. So let the decided price be 100. Okay, and he has increased the decided price by 25%. That means... For 100 rupees, he has increased 25%. That means for 100 rupees, 25 rupees is increased. So what will be the marked price? Marked price will be 100 plus 25. So it becomes 125. Okay, increased by... In, increased by 25. Why 25 not percent? Because for 100 only 25. No, then it becomes 25%. So, if we have taken decided price itself 100 rupees, he has increased the price by rupees 25. So, now marked price becomes 125. 
ओके वाइल सेलिंग द आइटम ही ऑफर्स ट्वेंटी परसेंट डिस्काउंट नाउ मार्क प्राइज इज वन ट्वेंटी फाइव वाइल सेलिंग डिस्काउंट इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट वॉट डू मीन बाय ट्वेंटी परसेंट डिस्काउंट फॉर हंड्रेड रुपीज ट्वेंटी रुपीज इज रिड्यूज सो आफ्टर सब्ट्रैक्टिंग ट्वेंटी फ्रॉम हंड्रेड यू गेट एटी रुपीज अ सेलिंग प्राइज इफ हंड्रेड रुपीज थिंग इज सेल्ड फॉर एटी रुपीज दैट मीन्स यू हैव ट्वेंटी परसेंट डिस्काउंट सो इफ मार्क प्राइज इज हंड्रेड सेलिंग प्राइज इज एटी But now, what is the mark price? He has decided one twenty-five. So, what will be the selling price? Find out. Cross multiply. You have hundred into x is one twenty-five into eighty. So, what will be x? One twenty-five into eighty upon hundred. Cancel this. Do out the cancellation, and we get x is equal to hundred. So, your selling price now becomes hundred rupees. What price he has decided? Hundred rupees only. And what is selling price? Hundred rupees only. So. decided price becomes equal to the selling price and what the question is find how many more or less percent he gets on the decided price he doesn't get anything on the decided price decided price was also 100 and selling price also we have got 100 are you understanding me if selling price would have been 102 then 400 he has sell it for 102 he will get 2% uh, profit you may see isn't it but in this case because because both decided price and selling price is coming same he gets 0% more or less nothing he is getting okay so 0% neither it is increased nor it is decreased understood so you may write he gets 0% this is for your understanding i have it all right so we'll stop here students thank you